be honest, I, I made sucker DJs before I even got on the radio. Yeah. First time I heard it, somebody was walking outside with the box and he was on the radio blasting loud on a Saturday. And I was like, yo, how did, how did they get a copy of my... Oh, you thought they were playing like the, at the... Writ, like right, the... I thought somebody had got a copy of my oh, tape. Oh, that's great. I'm getting mad now. Kiss that fan. I was like, oh, she's on the radio. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Eric B, he was like, you know, a roommate with me over in Queensbridge. And, you know, he used to see a lot of cats come in and, and really start bubbling. <laughs> well, he's like, yo, Ma, man, I, I got some dudes that can go do this too. Let me get a, let me get a day in the studio. Okay. That ass. He's like, yo, let me get a day. All right, all right bet. Get your man in here and let's see what, what we could do. He's like, okay, my man's coming today. We, so we sit in and this man never showed up. Yo, where's your man at? Da, da, da. And his first man that never showed up was Freddie Fox. Yo, man, I got the, I got my other dude from Long Island. He's dope. I'm telling you, the nigga nice. Da, da, da. I'm gonna be yo, yo, my all right, all right, Eric. Give me one more chance. Give you another shot. <laughs> that man don't show up, man. So he brings in Rakim. Rakim comes in, rhyming slow. We made my melody first. So was, collectively, we both had the ideas for the songs, but I had physically put it together. You got it right. Hands. For the whole, for all the paid and for. For Eric B as president. Okay. Ooh. And my melody. We was Ooh. hot that week. <laughs> that was a good week in the, good week. in the crib. That week I made Make the Music With Your Mouth Biz, Eric B is President, The Bridge. What? In the same like seven days? Yeah. You know, what I used to do is Shit. have, I used to call it the, the, the sound of the week. So I used to have this kick and snare up in the sampler. And, and just whatever, build off of that. Whatever, whatever songs I was making that week. Had that kick and snare in it. <laughs> so if I, now, you, now I'm gonna go back and, and play them and, yeah, and listen to yeah, the yeah, same yeah, pattern. Yeah, yeah, you can hear. So Pete Rock. So Pete Rock is heavy these cuts. All right. Uh, I was doing girls that girls they love me. I needed some cuts. I think I was feeling a little like dizzy or something that day. I don't know. But he's saying, Yo, my my cousin's gonna come over. He's a DJ. Let me see what he got. So he <laughs> yeah, got again. Like, yeah, let me see what he got. So he started cutting, and the cuts was real sharp. And I remembered that. I was like, oh, he, he's dope. Like, oh, you do the cuts on the joint. One of my DJs, Kevin Kev, got in a car accident and I needed a replacement DJ here at BLS. And I was like, yo, Hev, I remember your cousin was dope. Yo, tell him to come to the radio station and I need a DJ for him going in here. So he didn't even have a lot of records because he's like a, a basement DJ in a crib that made beats. You know, he's coming up on a producer tip. So what did, what did he do? He came to the radio station to break. He started cutting all the break geeks. And then does Pete Rock start say, hey, I got my boy Corey. We got we got a yeah, group yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. He came on, yo, I'm put my dude in the studio. When he first came to my house, maybe he brought a record. I'm like, yo, sample this up for me. He wasn't that quite crafty on using the equipment. Yeah. So yeah. he's like looking and seeing and like, okay, boom, boom, boom. And crafting what it turned into. That's interesting. Sort of what you did with, with Eric B back in the day. No doubt, yeah. I, I appreciate the time, Molly. And, no, uh, no doubt, no it's doubt. It's gonna be a pleasure to have you on there. That'd be crazy. Some of these guys are more known for as producers and they did not produce anywhere near of the hits are is a relative name, but important record. If you like Biggie, which which he mentions you guys, Biggie was like an updated heavy D. And think about it, who discovered Biggie? Juice crew member, Mr. C. Mr. C. K Big Daddy Kane's DJ. Daddy Kane's DJ, so. Why did Puffy pay attention to Biggie? Because C brought. Right. Why does people pay attention to C? Because he's with K. Why do people right. who put K on that? So it's right. boom, boom, boom. Right. It right. comes back to your house. Yeah, yeah. back to the house of hits.